Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Amanda, aka Snowflake. And I'm doing her last story first because she sent me a few of them because uh, this one's a little bit longer. So I wanted to get this one done first. <clears throat> Here is her story. <clears throat> I used to own a cleaning service when I was 18 to 20. So Ho, Ho, so Ho Bag's husband paid me to clean their house. While I was there, he said he wanted to talk to me because he thinks I'm too nice to be wrapped up with Twinkie Binky. And no, I'm not talking about Cody, her boyfriend. I'm talking about her husband, Rob. She treated him like shit and let him go whore out in the streets. But anyways, I took a break from cleaning and he showed me some messages on his phone. Ho didn't have a phone because she threw hers and shattered, and it shattered, so she had to use her husband's. Her and, tw her and Twinkie were stupid enough to not delete their conversations. So Rob showed me a few and let me take pictures of them. Twinkie, it's Ho bad. Hey, listen, I need to talk to you ASAP, please. Last night was, again, another nightmare, and I apologize. Rob just wanted just want being cool about me staying there with you overnight for God's sake. So anyway, I'm really wanting to come out to you today and possibly spend the night too. Yes, please. I love you. Feel better. I'm worried about you. Just go to the hospital. I would have died if I didn't get a hold of me when you can. Hey Twinkie, how are you? It's Hobag, still no phone. I sure hope you're well. If I had a car or any money to get there to visit you, I would for sure. I have to talk to you ASAP. I need your advice and suggestions. I'm going to call you on Facebook. My girlfriend might not like us talking, so we got to keep this on the DL even though we are just friends. She is extremely jealous. This is how this is how you triangulate. Twinkie, I'll let Hobag I'll let Hobag Barbie know that I'm sure it won't break her heart. LOLK, just want to make sure if I'm around my girl and she calls, I won't be able to answer. What's your house number on the way? In my last story, I shared text messages during our breakup. <clears throat> he sent me messages on Facebook as well on group chat that we had that I had forgotten about. He was trying to find whatever method he could to contact me. Here's the screenshots for that. Hey, why did you make it visible to talk now? I'm not mad. I just want friendship. Well, I didn't, so that's weird. People you've blocked in this group. This, I guess that's the group. Friends don't say the shit you said to me, so unfortunately I have to pass on in your interest in friendship. I was just being adult about it. I honestly just said that because I feel bad for you because you have no friends. So keep it up and see where it gets you. By the way, I've moved on. I'm not trying to ruin your life. But she's still he's still trying to tell you you're a loser with no friends. <clears throat> that time passed. And understand, he doesn't want to be your friend. He wants you in a fucking... He wants to put you in a glass case, break in case of emergency. That time passed, like almost a month ago. LOL, okay, I really don't care. Good, I'm glad you've moved on. Me too. Freedom, happy. Then why are you, like, then why are you, tech, why is he IMing you then if it's freedom, happy? He's not getting the supply he needs, so now it's freedom, happy, then, then good, then go. Then you don't need to be my friend. Fuck off, I don't want to be your friend. Amen to that. He, and he can't stop. He can't stop. It's really unfortunate that you can't be friends with any of your exes and you have to block them and ignore them your whole life. Why? Why do you need to be friends with an ex? Why? Why? The friendship after breakup is breaking place of an emergency. That's all it is. And he still wants to use you to triangulate other girls or other dudes with. 
you're only the ex and I'm not friends. You're the only ex I'm not friends with. And it's because of your shitty attitude and thinking errors that you refuse to acknowledge them. Holy shit. So now you got to be bullied in the friendship and having to clean up the mess you made living here that piled up and it was it, it piled up. It was old. It was old. Your parents did, did it too. Come on, dude. You destroyed my stuff and room since sixth grade. <clears throat> you never did one washing of all your clothes and and had rotting, spilled stuff or dye all over. By the way, I saw your journal about me. Well, Jesus, this is what... This is how borderline males spiral. They just can't let anything go. Even when you break up, it's still not... Like, oh, incessant. That was fucked. I still have them, so I have proof of your insane perspective on your oh pity me life. Stop with the gossiping as I have the proof to refute it. Thank you. Just wants to. Oh, Ty just wants to sleep with you, so he lets you do what you want. <laughs> I thought you don't. I thought she stunk. I thought she stunk. And nobody wanted to be friends with her. And nobody likes her because she stinks and she makes a mess. So which one is it? Which one? Like, this is just the, 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 the drama queen performance. Jimmy plays both sides. How would you like it if I went to Jeff and started telling him everything that you did to me and yourself on a regular basis? You would be so mad. Those are my friends. Stop talking like that to them or anything. Why don't you just block them like you did to all my other friends and family? Wow, he wants to tell you who you can talk to, what you can say, who you can block, who you can't block. I don't know why you had to block everyone like that. And Walgreens, like, what the fuck? My mom and I heard about what you've been saying, and you just keep visiting then. <clears throat> but since you always seem to get the free pass because of your issues, I better not say what they said or anyone else said, or else you might kill yourself because that's how you deal with things you don't know how to deal with in life. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to tell you all the horrible things people are saying, but they're saying them. A contact created a poll. Are you usually friends with your exes or do you avoid? God, who cares, you fucking bitch? What a bitch. What a bitch of a man. What a bitch boy. This is how the borderline, this is how the borderline male bitches. This is the borderline male bitch fit after you break it off with them. A contact voted for, yes, a very extensive, specific, like, who gives a shit? One contact, who cares? <clears throat> Are you usually friends with your exes or you devoid avoid them and say good riddance some really good friends list others i respect their decision i do not want to talk or i just don't care to move on myself yes it varies like this is no i completely cut them off oh my god oh he's he's, he's still going and it shouldn't be too surprised it's always there but you didn't but you, you, you did this, you did that, you were so mean, you shouldn't have said those things to me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Like, this should all just ignore, ignore. You got to ignore the borderline male's bitch fit when you break up. And that's all this is, is a fucking bitch fit. Like, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard you say, yeah, I sucked up. For yeah, and I should have done that. Yeah, it was my fault. Maybe next time I can do this. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God, dude, you are fucking endless. Just put a dick in your mouth. Just put a dick in your mouth and end it. It's cool, bro. It's cool. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Just go be gay and go have your histrionics and your bullshit because that's what this is all about because you hate, he can't stand a woman and her ugly, nasty vagina telling him no.
Can't tell in him, no. It's always what everyone else did. I wish you would just grow up and realize it's kind of sad because people treat you really differently. <clears throat> they can tell you the truth or else you'll threaten suicide or use some childhood traumatic event like all those hundreds of phobias you have listed. <clears throat> Bahaha, ha, ha, and honestly, you are the one who brought up our private life to my friends on a bad day already when anyone else would be getting comforting and never bring up our issues to my friends. Plus, who stay, well, who's bringing up issues like at, at Walgreens and everybody hates her? And what are you talking about? She's bringing up issues? Nobody brings up issues, but you just said earlier, okay? You just said earlier... All these people are coming to you and telling you how terrible she is. Plus, who then stays at ties? I don't think you know the scope and extent of your actions. Mental illness or brain is limited capabil in capa capabilities. But you never showed improvement from the start. Never was proactively fixing your issues while I fixed lots of mine. <laughs> you should use spell check. That is exactly how you handle like, it. Like, like, I would ignore them or troll them. Like, you don't address, you don't address the borderline male in a bitch fit. You don't do it. You don't do it. <clears throat> ha ha, you should learn to read between the lines. What, what, what lines? What lines? Your meth lines? Like, what lines are you talking about? And this is your mistake. All right, now you're going to respond to him. In regards to your comment about Jack... Jeff, you're obviously confused. He's my best friend, and he knows me extremely well. He was there when I hit rock bottom, and... He's seen through me to go through hell. He knows me better than almost anyone, so you can go ahead and say whatever the hell you want to him. He's really wise and can smell bullshit from miles away, so good luck. Also, it's funny you say you've moved on, but yet you were the one who sent me the message on here. Exactly. If you've moved on, then why the hell are you messaging me? This is so childish, and you remind me of the kids back in junior high with their petty bullshit. They always try they always had to try and make a point. It's ridiculous. You really need to move on or find more things to fill out your day. Okay, maybe you need to find a shower or a hobby. In regards to your response, I think you don't understand. Always to the always to the visceral attack on it. Like it's he is such a bitch. He is such a bitch. In regards to your response, I think that you don't understand what I was trying to say, LOL, because what Tyler is, has been there when I hit rock bottom. Baby signs and friends to maybe fill out your, maybe you should sign some friends and maybe fill out your day. And that was my phone fault because it's broke. Fun. Yeah, dude, come on. Because he's just... <laughs> He's yelling at his phone. He's yelling into his phone, probably using the talk to tax. Keep it up. I see where and see where it gets you. Another veiled threat. I throw it right back at you sometimes harder because I know where to, to hurt the most if you want to play that game. Oh, God. Like a bitch. Like a bitch. He seems to have some confusion in regards to when certain dates took place. This was while he was in the hospital, and we waited to set the official date for our engagement once he was finally out of the hospital, which ended up being April 1st. We kind of followed the March date and the April date. Only other dates that exist is February 15, which is the date we started dating. March got engaged. He provided a great example of of how these psychos will twist dates into something that becomes a pity party, though the dates are a lie. The date mentioned is so convenient. <clears throat> hashtag breakups, hashtag single. Well, there's no better and bitter feeling than having to go to sleep by yourself all alone in an empty bed for the first time in 18 months. What do you care? You said she stunk it up. She stunk it up and destroyed all your shit. 
Why do you want this smelly bitch with you, dude? <clears throat> oh, what a pity. What a pity, boy. Mark of my anniversary with my fiance was going to be tomorrow. She threw away the life we planned in a 24-hour window. I made no effort to contact him at all because I don't want him in my life. Yet he messages me telling me to move on. And recall in the audio of the last story, he said he's moved on. This is moving on? No, of course not. Of course not. August 18th. If you can see this, move the fuck on like I am. Don't even think about treating me like all your other exes. They actually might not have cared as much or tried to help. I did. Either way, no one will as much as you need, and you can only help yourself right now. Zat zines. Sucks you gotta be vindictive, conniving, a liar, and so pitiful. You just will be miserable for eternity since you blame everything and everyone for your issues. How will you grow? Not my problem. I can't care anymore. I got a life to enjoy. Then go enjoy it. Hashtag advice, help sad. Separated from my fiance after 18 months, she took our dog money, items we shared, everything and left me her garbage to clean up legit she blocked any contact anywhere and is refusing to get the help she desperately needs sleeping alone sucks <clears throat> i adopted my dog years before i ever met him she is not his dog i had her adoption papers still when i was living with him but of course he kept those i don't know what he's going to do with it my good mom says not to worry about it because we will bury him if he tries. I was the only one bringing in the income since he used all all of his for drugs. So this is still all about money. Look, <clears throat> if you were the only one bringing in money, this is what it's about. He wants your money. He wants your money. Paying him four hundred. See, it's about money. It's about money. Paying him four hundred dollars to only get some of my stuff back was fucking fantastic. Let me tell you, he kept a couple grand worth of my stuff, and he didn't clean shit up. My parents did. They cleaned his whole damn house to get them to leave us alone. <clears throat> yep, it's them, and they're doing that in service of setting boundaries. I can tell. Still, nothing learned. Once you claim trauma, you expect free passes your whole life. What about those traumatized by thyself? Silly me expecting too much from people again. You are blocked from following. Yeah. <clears throat> I posted the cover photo two months before the breakup ever happened. It had no relation to him whatsoever, but that shows how much... He paid attention to me. He must have been too busy sniffing sausage in his mouth to notice. I've met some pricks in my time, but you, my friend, are the fucking cactus. Update within the past week, he tried to send me a fake friend request on Facebook, then proceeded to make threats. I immediately blocked him. You already know this, since I sent you an urgent message about it on my break. I did, as you said, even though I was afraid... Considering the other drama that was unfolding at work, I told the assistant manager since he's the one I report to. I thought he was going to tell the store manager, but I guess he didn't. One five twenty, I found out when I got called into the office and asked what's been going on since I guess it's been noticeable that I've been stressed. The way she asked it was sincere and I was caught off guard. Oh, by the way, yes, it was Amanda who was the the holiday gift giver as well. She just didn't want to say it was her at first, but she's obviously cool at it now. I worked for these companies, competitor, right before working here, and they bullied me and made my life more hell than it already was with Twinkie. Even though they knew about it, the real concern coming from a boss isn't something I've experienced, so the moment I started... Trying to tell her about Twinkie, I broke down. It was a mixture of guilt and relief. I didn't realize my stress was manifesting so immense, intensely. And I was also relieved to have this boss care and want to help. So I gave her a picture of him in his name. She asked me what I would like done if he tries to come to the store. I told her the cops need to be called immediately because he has no reason to ever come here besides to hurt me. 
So she said she would let the other employees know. Having an action plan is a huge relief, and hopefully I won't have to jump every time the store door is open. Yes, I blocked every account he used and made sure my family blocked it as well. <clears throat> you don't address the borderline male, okay, in a bitch fit. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You ignore. You block. You move on. You don't even try to explain. Because all he is, he is a hurt little bitch right now. That's all he is. He is a wounded little bitch, and he is venomous, and he is vicious, and he wants to hurt you because you have a vagina. <laughs> like, And how dare you? How dare you not give me money? How dare you leave? How dare you, you stinky, smelly fucking bitch? And he's not going to stop until you stop addressing it. And it might take a while. Okay, but until he realizes he's not getting anything out of you anymore, he's never going to move on. That's what you got to do here, Amanda. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for another contribution and story, Amanda. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away, and YouTube and Google are trying to make that happen sooner than later. So if you like what you see here, and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to follow me on the library app, which links are also located in the description box below. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.